today, we're going to fix my mixer. <laughs> Anyways, what happened is it quit going around here. So it runs, but this is not, you see this, so clearly I'm missing some teeth on some gears. So I did some research, and there are videos out there on how to do this. Uh, it seemed pretty simple, so I'm going to give it a go. So first thing we do is don't plug it in. So we're not plugged in. One screw in the top right here takes this off. I know I'm using power tools. All right, so one, 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 one screw. I really, I really need a little magnetic cup. Okay, so this thing is supposed to come up and out. And then, okay, so on the bottom, right there, is a pin we got to knock out, hammer and a punch. Let's see what I was doing, it'd be great. So anyway, so. Knock that out. And then, the shroud has to come off. So it sticks out here and here. All right, so what they said to do was to just tap it out like so. It falls, falls right off like so. I really need clean stuff. <laughs> Anywho, <clears throat> this, now I don't have the flip top lid type, so I'm gonna have to stand this up, but there's access, I gotta access some screws in there. All right, so what they said was, is that <clears throat> this is just pressed on and in here and go here and here and we can just make this slide right off Ugh. now see I found a hmm. there we go now I'm not sure why that's in there and it shouldn't be so Unless that's grease. Might be grease. Might be the grease. I don't know. It's kind of oily. <laughs> so let's see what has to go back in it. But anyways, uh, he said um, five screws here and then four screws on, on this bottom, I guess. I don't know. There's supposed to be more here. I got a different unit, so we'll see what holds this all on. But one of them is supposed to have a lock washer on it. Okay, so I'm assuming I gotta take these off now. Oops, if I can. That is not what I needed to do. <laughs> What's holding that on, guys? Tell me, quick, tell me. So taking all four of those screws out took the base off and everything this is not how what video I watched was done but it accesses the other two screws that I need to get to in order to get the motor away from the, the gear drive so these come out one of these is supposed to have a washer on it I have not found a washer yet No washer. Anyhow, all right. <clears throat> so this is now leaking water all over the place. It's supposed to come up. So yeah, look at that. There it goes. See. pile of grease all right <clears throat> so there is a gasket in there I'm gonna have to clean this all up now 
That looks a bit, I don't think that's supposed to have water in it like that. <laughs> so you can see it's quite a, it's quite a mess right there. Um, they said to put that back in there, so I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it in there. Um, let me get a, a putty knife and a rag. <laughs> All right, so what they, <coughs> put water in it. So what they say usually fails is this gear right here, which you can see is cupped out, so it's failed. It's not grabbing the gear somewhere. It's gotta be another worm gear or something, but it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. So it's probably not grabbing one of the gears down in here, like it should be. Uh, the other problem I have is, is there's supposed to be a seal, because this should not be wet. There's no reason that should have water in it. There's supposed to be a seal on this right here, and there isn't. Why is it leaking? I have no idea. And what goes where? So, but anyways, so uh, I'd done some tomatoes. We were, and I intend to use this for that again. But I think that this right here is probably my culprit. So I want to get this off here without ripping it. All right, that's awesome. Now, let's get this out of my way. So all I'm doing is seeing if, if there's supposed to be a seal in there so I know what it is to go order. All right, so if there should be a seal in this thing here, then I want to get one and put it in there. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, okay, so it doesn't look like there's supposed to be a gear in there. This smells rancid. <laughs> so what I think I'm gonna do now that I have this apart, there should be should be something in there. Looks like it's gotten hot and it needed some grease or something in it. So I'm gonna bet the water did come back into it from doing the tomatoes, and that's why we're where we're at. So I am gonna go order more grease if I can find it. And I can order just this gear or I can order that whole tower. Uh, the whole tower is only like $27 for this tower. I'm touching my camera. <laughs> okay, so for this, this tower right here is only like $27. So, see if I can get that gasket. This comes off with, so there's three screws, one here. <clears throat> there's one. And there's one here, two. And one over here, that's three. And I will just order this whole assembly. I can order just the gear, I guess. I could. But uh, I can order that, this whole assembly. Now, uh, you're supposed to be able to take this worm gear out. There's a, a pin, you pump the pin out with, a, with, with one, of those, one of those after you clean all the grease off of it. And then you order, order a new gear. You gotta pull it all apart and then line everything back up with washers and that. I think it's gonna be easiest if I just order this whole new piece. Uh, get me a new gasket here. See if I can order some grease you know maybe order that gasket it doesn't look bad but we'll see what it looks like i'll order one anyways and then see if there's supposed to be some kind of gasket on that gear so uh as soon as i order those and get those all back in we will put this back together i'll definitely have this clean back up though all right so we'll see you in a day or two <laughs> okay so this right here is what i ordered and you see it was delivered march 3rd click on that so you can see what it is I ordered okay so that right there as you can see uh oh I'm trying to do this with two hands here we go okay so so that is what I ordered you see that uh-huh this is what I received <laughs> what the hell <laughs> so I uh, 
I ordered two more gears. I don't know quite what to do with that. Send it back or whatever. Um, I ordered uh, two more gears and they will be... There's my gears I ordered. They'll be arriving tomorrow. <laughs> what a pain in the ass. <sighs> okay. Sorry. Just had to rant. Okay, so not that you can see real good. So anyways, this is the part I ordered. Uh, this company was nice enough. Where, where is it? Come on, in the screen. There it is, in the screen. So this company was nice enough to uh, take this as a return. This is not how it's supposed to come. It's defective, as they say. Uh, they refunded me, so no, no hard feelings there. I'd already purchased my two gears, and they were delivered uh, within a couple days. I went this route because because it seemed easier to me to just replace the whole thing for twice as much as the gear is, you know, but, um, so, uh, there is clearly a, a, a difference in how they're made. This is the original. So this is longer, um, it, other than that, it just, it, it looks a little better. This is definitely heavier. So I'm not sure maybe this gear makes a difference, but Anyways, uh, uh, no big deal. This company replaced this part. Actually, they just refunded me my money. I have to send it back. So, that being said, there is a little, a little pin in here. I I must drive out. Maybe if I can get it to drive out. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh, uh -huh, I got it. <laughs> so. We drive uh drive this pin out all right so said pin is out all right so it's icky it's just got this grease on it so i'm gonna keep the pin clean uh, it's a little different looking than the other pin but it's all right so there is uh, this here is supposed to come out like so Whoop. pull this one here out and we got two washers, one on each side. Uh, supposedly, they are both the same thick, th 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 thickness, so it doesn't matter which side they go on. It probably did matter on which side that went on. <laughs> but I think it was down, the pin was down on the bottom. So that's how we're gonna put it back together. So you see where my problem is right here. Uh, it, it's uh, the worm, the worm beer has chewed that right off. And, and apparently it looks like it started over there also. Now we've had this machine, I don't know, 18, 20 years, something like that. Okay, so I ordered, uh, focus, food grade, yeah, food grade grease, uh, special for the KitchenAid products. So, uh, it's just white grease, it's not dark like that other one. So I'm just gonna make sure I put some everywhere. Everywhere needs some, if you ask me. <laughs>
Okay, so uh, apparently uh, the heads are different on here. I didn't pay attention to it. These two had sleeves on them. Uh, they weren't threaded like the other ones were, so I'm not sure if they're even in the right spot for right now. Um, it appears to be tightened all the way down. Um, I don't know what the torque specs are on any of this. <laughs> I didn't look it up and I don't have a torque screwdriver. So two grunts and a groan is where I'm going with it. <laughs> Alright, so a little bit of grease I saved, put in here. As you can see, there was some in here. And then we got another washer and a gear in there. I tried to clean it out best I could. Hey, right, well, I can't, I can see the hole. Oh, maybe I gotta pull it up. There we go. Maybe like so, eh? Ooh, something, something a little bigger now. And it's said just to, uh, <laughs> it ain't going that well for me here. There we go. All right. And then we have said pin we're going to put back in this here hole. Just tap her in. Sorry about the heater. Ta da! Okay, now reinstall cover. It tapped on, so I'm assuming it's, or tapped off, so I'm assuming it's just going to tap right back on. Kind of looks like it. All right, so uh, four screws into the base, and we'll put the one screw and the cover and all this back together. Okay, and now we'll put this right back in here like she was, because that's where she falls. It goes the other way, dummy. All right, so round in down there, guys. <laughs> and that goes in there. And our cover on the back. And our one screw in the top. And then, to plug it in. <laughs> I don't have a tension cord yet going on over there. Moment the truth, huh? And on. Look at that. How about that, eh? Kind of gooey sounded in there. All right. Well, so that's how <laughs> I fixed this one anyways. It's still a little loose right here. As you can see that little gap in the front, so maybe it went on a specific way and I don't have it on that way. I don't know. Just need a little more. A little more tapping is all. So anyways, that's how I fixed my ancient old kitchen egg. Eh? This is not the video I watched, so these taking these screws out was something new to me. Uh, I do have to clean this greasy mess up because I got greasy boogers and fingerprints and all that good stuff all over it. But there you go. So next time you see it, we'll be getting it dirty again because I'm going to be doing some tomatoes. Uh, uh, <clears throat> so if you liked it, give her a thumbs up. If not, you know, give her a thumbs down. So uh, I'll catch you all next week. Bye-bye.